how are you welcome to another time of um, catfish farming lectures today um, i'm going to be taking uh, a very delicate subject it's not like other subjects are not delicate but particularly this this subject um, i i want to look at it as primary i want to look at it as special because so many people have been misled and um, they have uh, many un unanswered questions concerning this this subject it is about um, stocking fingerlings that don't do well and um, you you know take care of your fingerlings not all them and all that and over and over and over they still remain very um, little small size and then time goes on and on and on and on and you waste a lot of money now this has been a big problem and then many people have just one area that they put blame on and that is the fact that their finger links are not uh, the finger links they stalked are not good now it can, it might be true but this is not what it is generally most of the times you see when you stalk finger links you must consider also that poor management number one can be responsible for your fingerlings not growing properly many people like i've always been saying do not have one single idea of how to look after their catfish because it seems so easy you know you just get a pond put water in it throw fishes into it and then you are on it is not as easy as that now let me tell you something the most delicate stage of you know um you know um rearing your fingerlings the circle is the beginning when you stalk and take care of them now if that stage is not properly done it will affect them um later on especially in the area of in the area of of of, of growth once you go wrong in something that stage when you just talked when they are fingerlings it will affect it might affect their their growth and then you have stalled growth growth you know you just have little little things coming out and blah 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 there are so many things responsible for this so number one consider management poor management can cause um slow growth bad growth and then you have a, a big problem number two bad feed or you know i like to call it impotent feed feeds that are not, not potent when we started this business long time ago the, feed, the feeds were very good very good you know and then uh, your fishes did very well very quickly now the feeds are so important so um so weak so like nothing is, is in it and then you keep feeding and feeding and feeding and feeding this is our local feed and then your fishes are growing slowly so your fishes might not be doing well growing fast because the feeds are very very bad now it is not only affecting you it is affecting everybody you know you, you, you don't mind that the feeds are expensive they, are, they might they might be expensive but they are not good they are very very bad so bad feed is number you know number two thing that can actually affect you know your fishes and then feed timing is also responsible for that so you you know you can be feeding your fishes like you feeding your fishes like that people just bring um, what do you call it um, the feed and throw just like that true like that true like that but not knowing that timing is also very important timing like when do i feed my fish what, what is the best time to feed my fishes that they will eat properly because when they eat properly then they grow properly okay so timing is also a part of this whole thing that can cause um you know um slow growth stall growth in fishes okay now you know i'm not ruling out bad fishes i'm not ruling out um you know uh the wrong type of fishes you stock but i'm saying 
that you should not only think that it is because of the fact that you stored wrong uh, bad fishes that's why they're not growing so you look at all these angles i've mentioned you know and then when you look at these things the ones you do not know ask people listen to videos like this i have various videos on how to handle um, your newly stocked fishes management and all that how to feed and all that go through the 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 archives of my videos go through the library and you see things like that and it will help you so that you can um, have good growth but i have to say this do not expect the kind of growth that we used to have years back when the fees were very good don't expect it no matter what you do good management good water good whatever if the feed that we have today is what you are using your fishes will grow slower than it used to be before you know we used to harvest fishes from fingerling stage we used to harvest fishes at say four four months two weeks five months you have big big fishes one kg and above and all that but now you can't have that no matter how good your fishes are no matter how perfect your management is and all that you can't have that you're looking at six months and six months and above okay so if your fishes are not doing well and then you are doing all the right things you think you are doing all the right things and you are sure you are doing all the right things do not also also panic the feed is not going to um help you know you must have to wait for that six months and and above to sell your fishes so this is as much as i can take for today thank you for listening and um, do subscribe to this youtube channel my name is mr greg